hunters in the paddock in my piece. A push a pee. <laughs> Cop no hammers for my piece. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at Puff's Fat. Check for peace. Drop the data, now we plot. Inside the peace. like comment and subscribe and um share and yeah all of that so anyways we are starting this weekly vlog off i just did my makeup i messed up on my eyeliner if you can see it just ignore it okay i don't know why i always try to do eyeliner i'm blind i am blind okay <laughs> i don't know why i be trying to do eyeliner when i know i can't see I'm about to run a couple errands. Also, I did my makeup because I'm gonna do a sit down video. I haven't did a sit down video in literally forever on my channel. So I hope you guys like the sit down video. I'm gonna be doing a weight loss vision board. I feel like that would be a great little project to do. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. It is a new month, y'all. It's officially March 1st. I really just wanna lock in with myself. This whole month, I really want to just be disciplined, consistent, and I feel like for the first two months of 2024, I was really laid back because I was working on myself and I was just learning how to give myself grace. But y'all, it's the third month of the year it's time to get up, it's time to do, it's time to grind, okay? I already checked my weight because you do have to check your weight to like do a vision board. And I haven't checked my weight in a hot little minute, but I feel good, like I feel real good. And I went to the gym this morning. I didn't vlog because the gym was packed this morning. And I'm still getting used to vlogging in public. <laughs> I'm still a really shy person, y'all, so. I don't really like vlogging too much in public. Like if it's two or three people, then yeah, cool. But it was a lot of people. It's like a group of people up in there. So I didn't really vlog, but I just did a cardio workout. I jump roped a little and all that. Yeah, y'all. Welcome to another weekly vlog. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jamesia. I'm on a journey to become the best version of me. So, um, if you like the vibes over here, hit that subscribe button. It's my little mom fit for today. Cute and pink. I'm learning to wear, like actually start wearing colors because when I first started like my weight loss journey, I avoided colors. Like I did not want to be seen in colors just because I didn't want to stand out. So I always stayed in black and I love black. Like I love the color black. But I just told myself for the new year, I was going to like start stepping outside of my box, wearing colors and just, you know, enjoying life and just being happy. I feel like when you wear bright colors, like it changes your mood. For the longest, I dealt with body dysmorphia. So um, I used to really be mean to myself and my body. But like lately, I've just been, you know, praising my body and i just highly recommend for every woman like love your body if you're not where you want to be work to get to where you want to be but also show your body grace while you're working for the body that you want always practice self-love because i'm telling you it changes your life when you love yourself what is that saying like how you treat yourself like self-love is going to show 
other people how to treat you. It's already around like four o'clock in the afternoon. I don't want to be out too late, so let's get going. pretty quick because my camera is about to die we went to walmart to get my all of the materials that i need for my weight loss vision board i'm super excited to get that done we also went to cookie crumble i'm trying to get all of my guilty pleasures out now because y'all once it's monday and once we finish that weight loss vision board like it's grind time like it's grind time i wasn't able to do my sit down video today because i just didn't like how my wing eyeliner came out like I just don't like it. I just, I feel like I did a really bad job on it. So we are going to try that tomorrow too as well. Took off my pimple patches. I am breaking out y'all. Right here and also right here. Hmm. So I'm about to use my wood chisel. Take off my makeup. my way to the hair store before it closes because right now it's like 5 15 it closes at 6 so I'm on my way to the hair store I want to get like some razors so that I can arch my eyebrows and shave my face because you guys know I did my makeup yesterday I did not like how my makeup came out yesterday okay, it's a new day um Hold on, you guys are wiggling a lot. Oh, you guys are gonna fall. 
tried to do my makeup today and my makeup is just not coming out it's just not coming out right at all you don't like how your eyebrows is coming out then nine out of ten you're not gonna like how the rest of your makeup is coming out so yeah I had to stop and I'm like okay maybe if I arch them because it is a little they are a little overgrown so I'm like maybe if I arch them shave my face then my makeup will come out a little better because I just they're not coming out how they're supposed to come out it's really bothering me a lot because <laughs> I want to do my sit down video but they're just not coming out right it's just they're not coming out right I spent like almost 30 minutes trying to make them look good and it just wasn't happening <laughs> And I had to come to terms with myself. Like, it's just not working, baby. <laughs> it's just not working. I'm not going to stress myself out because I already feel myself getting stressed out. And it's not even that big a deal. I stress myself out about, like, stuff that's just... Like, calm down. Calm down. I just like the chips and queso from this taco place. I'm about to pick that up and then I'm about to head to the hair store and then I'm about to head home. I just got some chips and queso from this place right here. I highly recommend y'all, if you are on a weight loss journey and you're about to work out and eat healthy for the whole entire month, highly recommend before you do that to just go ahead and get all your guilty pleasures out the way. Like get all your little, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> Get all your little knickknacks, all your snacks and stuff. Get it out the way. I have been wanting this chips and queso for a hot little minute. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this chips and queso so that when I start, that I don't have that craving anymore. Like, let me satisfy my craving so when I start my little 30-day challenge, I'm not, I'm not going to be worrying about the chips and queso anymore because I already got it. So I made it to the hair store and it's closed. And it's only 5.30. It's only 5.35. And this is the closest hair store. If I wanted to go to another hair store, I'm going to have to go all the way. Like, 15 minutes. The opposite direction. You know you have those days where you just don't feel like driving. Like, you just don't want to drive. Like, that's the day that I'm having right now. <laughs> I just don't feel like driving right now. I just want to go home. <laughs> okay I used to swear by this granola because I saw 10 grams on the front but I've been doing a lot of um, I've been doing a lot of research and I've just realized that 280 calories for just like 10 grams of protein is not really good I've been doing a lot of research on the types of food that I can like swap out for like a healthier option where I can get more protein and less calories I'm gonna be doing a video on that so stay tuned don't get this they are blooming so beautifully my cute pink roses I already ate my um, my little cards that I'm gonna be putting on my vision board do not say anything about my handwriting okay <laughs> so really all I have to do I still have a little bit left that I need to write like I have to write 
my affirmations, my Bible scriptures and stuff. It's all going to come together. <laughs> I just dropped my camera, y'all. When I say I was stressed out for a minute, I thought that I broke you guys. I was stressed out. But anyways, I got my board right here. I was going to do it this way, but I'm thinking about doing it this way. So I can fit everything. This is a board. So I'm kind of already done. I just have to do a couple more cards and I'll be able to just start putting things on my board. So I'm just going to do it this way because everything is not going to fit if I do it the long way. So I'm just going to do it this way. And hopefully everything fit. I should have got a bigger board, but I was not thinking. I don't know why I didn't get a big board. Because the girl that I saw on TikTok had like a really big board. I don't know why. I should have went my first mind. But we're just going to do this. Some of what I want is probably not going to fit on this. I'm going to have to do something. Um, so we're going to see. Because something is not going to fit. I, I don't know why I was thinking this board is going to be bigger than it is. It's actually really, really small. So yeah. Okay, maybe I can do this. Have them right here. And <clears throat> the way that I saw the girl in TikTok, how she had all of the numbers. Maybe I should have did sticky notes instead of, these are pretty big. I don't think they're gonna fit. This is not going to work. These are too big. Luckily, I got these post-its. So I think I'm gonna have to do the post-its. Meaning I just wasted all of this, but it's okay. It's just paper. <laughs> okay, they're falling off. But anyways, these are too big. The ones that I did, I used these sticky notes and they're kind of as big as index cards. Like I said, I don't know why I thought that they would fit this little board. You guys know how when you see something and it's like all wrapped up and stuff, like you think, okay, that can fit. And then you get it. And it's like, this is so small. What am I going to do with this? I was going to put like my overall goal of what I want to lose for like my weight loss journey in entirety. But yeah, that's not going to work because it's so small. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go month by month, like the goal that I want to lose per month. And, you know, eventually it will add up to like my goal weight, but I got to throw this away. I mean, that's 
We didn't know what was going on. We were worried. <laughs> I told you guys about the probiotic vitamins that I've been taking lately and they help me detox. They're really good when it comes to detoxing. For me, in my experience, um, they have like this bad side effect where like I bloat really, really bad. And I'm not talking about just bloating a little bit. Like I bloat really, really bad to the point where I'm like super uncomfortable. So I really just did like a simple cardio workout. I four miles done today, so I'm super happy about that. If you guys hear something in the back, I am currently air frying some chicken. I'm meal prepping for the next two days. So that's what I'm doing right now. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, okay? Get you an air fryer. Now, the best decision I've ever made getting me an air fryer because it just makes meal prepping so much easier like I'm just able to just pop it in the air fryer and meal prep for a good two or three days usually I used to hate meal prepping because of how long it would take like it would literally take hours to like meal prep for like three or four days so this vision board is going to be for the month of March and then I'm going to switch it up coming April I'm going to take everything down and I'm going to do it differently but I feel like it looks good for my first ever weight loss vision board. So I'm going to be checking my weight for the month of March once a week. Covering this and this because I don't want it on camera. But um, yeah, I have all the numbers right here. Like I was doing my research on like weight loss vision boards and they always have like their numbers and their goal weight. So my goal weight for the month of March is to lose 15 pounds. So my weight after losing 15 pounds will be 212. So this is my goal weight. So each week I will be just marking out the numbers as I go. And then I have my Y and these are my Y's. I'm the best version of myself, period, poo. Then this is my current weight. I have not checked my weight in three months. I checked my weight this morning and this was my current weight. And then I have my non-scale victories. Reached 20,000 on YouTube. I really want to run like a marathon or like a little, or like a nice little run for breast cancer or something like that. I have this Bible scripture. And sorry about my handwriting y'all. Please do not, do not make fun of my handwriting, okay? Please don't. But it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The affirmations right here. Um, one says, I have everything I need to succeed. This is how it's looking. And I think it's really nice. I think it's a, a nice beginner friendly monthly weight loss vision board. Coming April, I'm going to take everything off. And then we're going to do it differently. Try to make it more aesthetically pleasing. But right now... It's cool. It's only one thing that I forgot to put on this board, and that is I won't be drinking alcohol at all. Um, I'm not drinking alcohol for the month of March and April, so I gotta make sure that I put that somewhere on here, but this is how my board is looking for the month of March. So I'm pretty happy, y'all. Um, like I said, I haven't checked my weight in three months. 
I decided to not step on the scale because it's mentally draining. Like me and the scale, we do not have the best relationship. I didn't want to put myself in any type of predicament where I can be triggered to where it can set me back. You guys know, like sometimes you work so hard and you step on the scale and it doesn't it doesn't show your hard work. And for me, that used to be like a big trigger for me. And it used to make me like sad and depressed. So I had to stop checking it. But I checked it this morning and um, yeah, not bad. You know, not bad. Gained a little bit of weight back, but it's okay because it's gonna be coming right off, okay? excited to do this alcohol detox because I feel like it's really going to help me with my skin as well. I never went on an alcohol detox for like months and I do know like I just know that alcohol really does play a big part when it comes to like your body, your skin and things like that so I'm really like interested in how my skin is going to change, how my body is going to change once i take alcohol out of the equation so i'm super excited to challenge myself and not drink no alcohol for 60 days so yeah y'all i'm about to end this vlog here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye